All right, guys, welcome back to Maestro Vapes. Today, I've got a Grand Vapor Sentinel V4. This is the 24 karat gold plated version of it. Um, I got this guy from dashvapes.com. I'll put a link in the description below that'll take you right to the page. I'll also put a coupon code in there to save you a little bit of dough, okay? Check it out. I've had the uh, Cryptic Stripper just living on here with a 24 karat gold Atmistique yellow drip tip, and it is super boss, vaping hawk sauce. Man, it's good. 22 gauge tiger coil all day, and it's nice. Like, I feel like royalty with this thing. Like, I feel like a king, like a king of clouds, that is. What's that song? We could be royal. You could call me King Cloud. I blow them anywhere. Blow them all day and all night. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a really nice mech mod. I'm really digging this one. Um, let's delve in a little bit closer. Take a look at what you get, and then we'll talk about it. It is bows. Oh, it's nice. All right, so the Sentinel V4 24 karat gold. I just got to show you how hard this thing hits, okay? And it's just immediate. You hit it. It works super awesome, okay? Mind you, there is something to do with the build on that one, but it's going to fire any build just so good every single time. I've got the Cryptics from JPGE on here with the Atmistique Yeller um, 24 karat gold tip. So it just kind of looks super, super Mac Daddy smooth, okay? Comes in this box from Grand Vapor Mods. Check them out at grandvapormods.com. Decent box, not too exciting, but it's what's inside it that really counts, okay? The uh, 24 karat sentinel is just dope the voltage drop on this is a very minimal it hits about as good as my copper mod which is uh is saying a lot all right i didn't think it would hit so well because it is stainless steel underneath the gold plating i thought it'd be a little bit weaker like a 3.95 volt kind of under load but uh it hits at like 4.04 .04, I think on like a 4.14 ba battery like it's pretty pretty good like 0.1 volts of a drop um, under load it's awesome taking her apart dump that battery out of there and you've got gold plating all around 510 connection is really smooth the threading is nice it's got silver plated copper contacts um, my silver plating is starting to come off on the contacts a little bit, but it's not really a big deal to me. Copper hits really well and conducts well. Um, Delrin insert in here. This is a floating pin, so you can just kind of push it in and out and dial it in. I'll show you how to dial it in when I put my Addy on. Okay. These are keyed a certain way, so they don't like to go on. Like I couldn't switch this tube around and then put it on my top cap because it just does not thread well. So keep that in mind. If it's not going together well, make try and switch things around and try and keep it the way that it is out of the box, okay? The uh, Sentinel logo on this is so nice. It's etched in there, feels really nice, looks really nice. Everything about this thing just screams, you know, high end it just does same thing with this beauty ring you couldn't really switch them around they're keyed a certain way threaded a certain way can't do too much with that so keep it the way it is the uh it's got a rubber o-ring on here which just keeps your battery from touching the bottom okay so it's not going to misfire in your pocket same thing on this connection here it's silver plated copper silver plating is coming off a little bit no big deal in my opinion um, the ring right here i'm finding has a little bit of the uh, silver or silver gold plating starting to dull on it um, i think that's just because it is copper underneath here and copper will not adhere you know any type of plating to it very well it tarnishes very easily um, same thing on this bottom ring. The uh, gold plating is starting to come off. And I've only been using this for a few weeks now. So 
not a big deal in my opinion, but whatever. Some people might not like that. Um, the button on this is so velvety smooth. It's just so velvety smooth to push. It is nice. This is a uh, serial 1027. It's got your etched in Grand Vapor logo on it, which is super nice. Just the throw on this feels so good to push. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's got a spring in there. The spring is really nice. I haven't had any problems with it heating up either, which, uh, you know, for a lot of mods with springs in it, if you're doing low resistance builds, you're going to have a problem with that. But uh, for this guy, not at all. Um, so when you're setting this up, I pushed this, uh, this pin all the way in. When you're swapping Addies out, you want to get your Addy on there, and it's going to start to push that pin back to where it wants to be. I don't know if you can see that but yeah it's just pushing it out ever so slightly getting to where it wants to be and bada bing bada boom okay put this together and then once you snug it up with your battery in there your it's gravy baby it's gravy drop my battery in there just really nice threads can you hear that I haven't put any no locks or anything on this. It's just been great. So now as I twist this tighter a little bit, just snug it up a bit, my connection is made properly with my Addy. Okay, and it fires just great. Every time. Every time. Uh, I have not had one misfire on this yet. Uh, it's super nice. Try one out if you're... Uh, you're in the market for a high-end mech all right let's take it out and have a vape off of her oh hallelujah man this thing hits so so nice um i can't say enough good things about this build quality is great it just feels so nice in your hand to hold to fire it the button is super super nice to fire it has a great throw on this the lock switch is nice. Um, the connection is nice. It just goes together really well. I've had my cryptics just living on here with a 22 gauge tiger coil built in there, dual coil, and uh, a gold pl gold plated tip. And it's just, this is like my all day take with me, kind of vape with me build. I'm vaping, you know, hawk sauce in here. And that's it like that is the combination right here um, I got this one from dash vapes.com I'll put a link in the description below you can get one too uh, it'll take you right to the page where I got this from um, I'll also put a coupon code in there if you want to save yourself 10% if you do decide to order from there uh, yeah it's great build quality is great it man I bought this. The reason why I bought this is because of the clone market. So here's kind of an example of the clone market helping the authentic market, okay? I had a private V2 clone, Grand Vapor clone, and I liked it a lot. And uh, I liked it so much that I was going to buy the authentic private, and then I ran into this, uh, this Sentinel. And I thought, oh, the Sentinel's just kind of the opposite of the private, instead of having the skinny tube and the middle it has it on the outsides and a thick tube in the center and i got this and i couldn't be more pleased with it it is like capturing a unicorn it is a little bit blingy uh if you can get over that you're, you're gonna love it all right i feel kind of like a james bond movie like you know man with the golden gun or uh what's the other one gold finger but down down he's got a mod that he can vape all day it's really gold yeah i thought when i got this that uh you know the gold plating wasn't going to do that much to the conductivity because it's still stainless steel underneath it but it really does help it really does hit hard put the voltmeter on here i was getting a voltage drop of about 0.1 volts like i had a a battery it was at about Point, or sorry, it was 4.14 volts. When I put uh, a Nautilus tank on just to check it out, it was giving me about 
4.04, 4.02. So right around a uh, 1.1 of a volt drop under load. So it hits really phenomenal. It hits really good. Button's great. Build quality is great. Um, it's definitely worth it if you're uh, if you're out for a higher end mod. Definitely pick yourself one up. All right, guys. Um, I'm out of here. Like I always say, butt out, vape up, and breathe easy. Know your limits and vape within it, and you're gonna have yourself a stellar day, my friends. Just gonna have a draw off this, and then I'm gonna cut out. You guys don't have to leave, but you know, clean up after yourselves when you're done. Flush the toilets. You know, wouldn't kill you to push a vacuum around either. All right, guys. Have a good day.